Welcome back, everybody. Here we are. What's up? How's it going? All right, let's get back to it. Um, what was I doing? So right, I'm building a. Uh, we're starting our cigarette economy. Correct. Um, because we don't have enough mechanical parts to build traps. Traps in order to get more food, way. which wouldn't really help us anyway, because we need vegetables. We could build an herbal garden, but we don't have enough fertilizer to do that either. Or wood. Or wood. So we're just going. So in order to make these type of cigarettes, I need components and I need those. I'm just going to make eight right now. That'll probably be fine. Well, it'll make 40 cigarettes because they convert it one to five. That's right. Hmm. So this is where we're going to find a lot of our yeah. trade stuff. Um. This is what you do with people when, when they don't have anything to do. You just have to make cigarettes. So, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. One of the, uh, one of the better playthroughs we had, we had unlocked a a giant market area. I think it was like oh, yeah. the conjunction or something like that. And you go through and, and as you're walking down the street, there are different uh, traders that you can talk to. And each one gives you different stuff. Each one wants different things. So you can go to the food trader and like get all the food over there so nice. you can go and trade it to this guy to get the gun you actually want but doesn't want any of the stuff you have. So you can make a point of this and at the very end there's a there's a building Huge with bandits. Complex. Huge apartment complex. And there's tons of stuff in the building. There's a giant tunnel underneath. But if you go in there, they're like, hey, get out of here. Like, you're not wanted in here. All, like, a lot of the doors are locked, but with the crowbar, you can get through there. And there was a run where we, we went through with Boris, our giant beast of a man. I think we killed two of them. We killed two of them yes. and then went, never mind, we need to leave. Book and we, we booked it out of there, like, continue to play the game, no big deal. And then we decided to go back with Katya, with all these cigarettes that we'd created, because we're like, cool, we got all these cigarettes, we'll be able to go, we'll be able to trade. We sent her there, and then she immediately starts getting shot at. So we walked into this place. <laughs> from across the marketplace, they were like, hey, that girl's with that guy who stole stuff from us, and just opened fire. Just no opened questions fire. asked. We just like, and done. <laughs> I just had to book it out of there. It there, was... There was one playthrough where I, because I knew of that effect, I went back through and I played my own game, and there's one character you can get who's like a, a policewoman character, and I, I had her go prepared with a bulletproof vest, a helmet, 40 rounds of ammunition, and an assault rifle, and I showed up, and just, they started firing, so I fired back, and I walked away with half a dozen assault rifles and tons of ammunition. <laughs> Uh, one of the it's one beautiful. of the beautiful. It's pretty good. One of the first playthroughs we had, and as the game will progress, sometimes, like you saw with obviously with Marco, you'll just have random characters show up at random points. You have no idea of telling mm -hmm. when they're going to show up. You have no way of attracting them. They just they show up. They arrive when they feel like arriving. And there have... was a game we were playing with the original three, and this character Spetta shows up, and her specialty is loves kids, and so we had a moment of panic. It's like. Are there kids in this game? Oh. Do you have, to take, care do you have to take care of children who can do absolutely nothing to help you and just drain your resources, but you have to take care of them because they're children? It turns Which out that's just Sveta. It turns out, yes, that's just Sveta. Because <laughs> Sveta is absolutely worthless. She thinks you should do the best thing at all times and has absolutely we give all no of our vegetables skills. to those people. Uh, Sveta, if we did that, we, we would, would die. die. Well, then I'm going to be sad about it. <laughs> that's Sveta. And then she gets horribly wounded every time you get raided. Mm -hmm. I think that's how we ended up losing her finally, because she just died from a gut wound. Because we didn't have any bandages, because she insisted that we give them to the neighbor kid. Wow. Moral story is <laughs> fuck Sveta. And fuck Anton. Like, he's really good at setting traps, but that's about it. You know, that makes me wonder, though, if um, they originally planned on there being kids that would show up at your door. Uh, there are. There are there kids are. that show up at the door. But they Sveta, don't stay with Sveta you. Sveta has no purpose, as far as they're concerned. Oh, okay. Um, I can go to a couple of other shelled out places, and I think I should probably uh, do The that. Ruined Villa, you need... That's the I one where you need... two saw blades. Saw blades. I can go there without the saw blades and still get lots of stuff, though. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's where the people are. There's the couple that lives there. We don't want to go there. Oh, yeah, if we're desperate, we could try and steal from them. I don't want to do that. The shell school is fine. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. That one has no... Unless there are bandits there. I don't know. If it's the homeless it people, it's fine. It says some homeless fine. people have taken refuge inside. That's how you can determine... I can go back to the supermarket. Which is which. That's not dangerous. Um, oh, yeah, the supermarket will be dangerous because I tried to kill somebody Yeah, there. it says oh, caution yeah. advised. Yeah, caution advised. <laughs> caution advised. <laughs> oh, no, the small apartment building is where they live. The ruined villa isn't. Oh, wait, no. No, the ruined villa still Yeah, has that's right. The elderly couple and their son. This is just the couple which has the one guy who's dangerous. Yeah. But if I stay away from them, 
I don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, but you got to run and hide. And I don't want to not... do that. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the crowbar to the... To I feel the... like we also need saw blades here, but that'll be fine. At the shelled school. Yeah, but the school is so big, I can't empty it out in one day. I'm going to need three or four days to empty it. Okay. So... Marco's the best. I'd heard they had classes when the shelling started. The shelling, like... This is a shelled school. As in, they bombed oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, electrical parts, that's good. Oh, you want a shovel here, too? I do, but I kind of don't. Like, I don't I care. Learn. A single board? Are you kidding me? Are those noises all rats? Uh, that one was, for sure. And, yeah, I can peer in through the door, and it looks like most of them are. Do you think, or, or rather, um, are those little, like, sound bubbles mm -hmm. bigger when they're humans? Uh, they're bigger when they're humans making a lot of noise, but when they're humans uh... making no noise, then no. Uh, okay. So I'm going to give this a few minutes, and he's going to just dig through that pile. Uh, Marco is slightly faster at it. He's a skilled scavenger. He's got a little bit faster of time, but he's hungry and tired, so we're not going to notice a difference. That's pretty fair. If only I had some kind of shovel. Yeah, if yeah. only. If only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep but, digging. Like we said, his best. Um, he does pull extra stuff out of piles once they're yeah. searched, which is really nice. We tried doing a Marco solo playthrough once. It's hard. It's really, really difficult because you have to go out and get things, but if you do, whatever you have left behind, it gets stolen, and so it's... Those moments when we get raided, they, the amount that they raid from us is based on what they want to take versus what we stop them from taking. Mm -hmm. And if you've got no one on guard, they just take the maximum every time, which is always all of your food and water. So you always yep. pretty much have to have at least two people in order to survive. Yeah, and yeah. people do show up in the Marco Solo playthrough, but until they do, it's almost better to just live off what you have in the house and not leave. Is is the Marco Solo playthrough something you choose? Yes. Yeah, you can really? unlock it after yeah, the playthrough. There's up to nine wow. playthroughs. The ninth one is the hardest one, and that one you're given Zlata, Emilia, and I want to say Bruno, and that's it. I it's and there none of them are particularly combat useful. Two of them have no skills at all, and one of them is actively hostile towards people. So it's just like it's like you're set up to fail. Uh, we're gonna pause really quick because the camera died. So. Aww. Oh, son of a so what have we gotten since uh, the camera cut out? Uh, nothing actually. I've just dug through three piles and opened up a crack door. <laughs> oh, so now we're about to nothing. see. We're about to see if I can if I can make it out in time. Uh, probably not. If you don't make it out in time, then you don't come back until like 1 p.m. and you lose valuable you had to time hide that you from could the be sleeping. Guards. Oh. Yeah. Although I did make it back. Thank I had God. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes. I made it back. Which I'm grateful for. That's an inter interesting mechanic. Yeah. Time crunch actually matters in some cases. I feel like they could portray that better that you'll lose time if time runs out yeah. before you leave. But, but how are you going to know in the situation? You wouldn't know. Yeah. It's, 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 I think it just goes along the similar lines of Make me there's no first. tutorial. You just got to figure it out as you go and you're not going to realize it until yeah. you don't know the penalties until they right. happen. Rachel, start making the protocol. Um, make a filter, go to the water, make some cigarettes, make food if necessary. Uh, we have to write down protocol because otherwise we forget crucial things. And if you go a day without making water, then you interrupt your water supply. And if you've got like food or a vegetable garden that depends on having a consistent supply of water, you're going to need that. Uh, now, does it automatically consume the water um, to, to, like, if you're... No, but you won't be able to start a cycle of it until you have more water and then you've got to wait like a What's day. What's more important, sleep or cigarettes? Ah, uh, okay. Sleep is probably more important than cigarettes because now we have three characters. She's just hungry and sad. So I want you to turn the radio on, and maybe that will deal with your sadness. Possibly. I know I made you rob old people, Katya. <laughs> coffee is less available. All right, we're in but the coffee just shortage. just old people. <sighs> Sleep, cigarettes. Um, you know, for cigarettes, thing. it's building anything else. What else do I need to make? It's a good thing our our, uh, our audience are mostly 25-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is kind of a good thing. Oh. Well, if they were like 70 to 80 year olds. I don't think. <laughs> playing the wrong games, I Maybe. guess. Uh, yeah, we can't really do anything with any of that. Uh, I cigarette. could see if there's... Oh, someone's at the door. This is a door. Oh, oh sweet. Trader? Is that yeah. Katia? All right, good. Yeah. Do we have anything worth trading right now? Uh, we do, yeah. We've got 32 cigarettes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we make cigarettes. There's okay. six, nice. And we have a shit ton of medicine, holy cow. Okay, so I want that. Yep, we want that good tobacco. 
Do we, we want that good tobacco. Yeah, we do. Okay. Tobacco. I also want, yeah, the the the, the, <laughs> the herbs tobacco. that you've grown in your herbal garden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's herbs. Pretty sure. So, how do you know the trade value of things? Uh, all right. So, see. See, actually over here, I'll show you. Um, some relatively clean water, you'll need it to prepare a second meal or make alcohol. Very common stuff, not very interesting. But if I scroll over, say, the coffee... Oh, still it's not particularly... Stuff, not very interesting. Interesting, want to exchange. And then if I scroll over, like, my gun, nothing special but not bad. Sometimes he'll be like, oh my god, this is exactly what I need. And you can trade him that for basically anything he wants. Huh. Um... So it's it's pretty much a very like verbal sort of. Yes. Um, it's unofficial. Absolutely. It's kind of splashy. I really like the way it works. Yeah. No. It, um, it feels like a proper bartering fuel? sort of system. No. We have twenty two of it. We haven't hit winter yet, and I'm terrified. We'll be fine. We have lots of wood. Twenty eight. We'll yeah, fine. but we still haven't built our herbal garden yet. We're gonna need a lot of wood for that. It's three fuel for all of these components. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Also, we have uh, to get. We're the definitely rest not done dealing. Oh yet. no, for sure. Um, I want the cans. You want the cans? The cans are so expensive. Then don't get the cans and then get the alcohol. We want the weapon parts though, right? I we think have so. We two right now. We want that. You want the alcohol? I don't want the alcohol. How else are we going to make bandages? Do we want to make bandages? Okay, that's more late game stuff. We're... That is late game. That's late game. I'm looking for mid game right now, which is bullets, more components, a little bit more wood. Um, um, I would say mechanical parts. You think the mechanical parts? We, then we don't. Five... Then we can't get the cans then. Then don't get the cans and then get the mechanical but parts instead. we have and stuff. that, so we'll be okay. So um, then get the mechanical parts. I'll say it again. Three mechanical times. Mechanical parts. And here we go. Whee. Just gonna start stacking on cigarettes. And it's not quite enough, but luckily I have four medicine and you never need more than three. That's too much. The reason why you never need more than three is because that's three is what it takes to get a character to go from uh, nearly dying all the way back up to, to fully healed. Nice. So here is what so I'm going to trade him. for nine cigarettes and a bottle of medicine, we get all... Unless all three of your guys are nearly right. dying. And because... But, more time. Well, if all three of them are nearly dying, then I have really, really, really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab those, because we can, and they're cigarette parts. They yes. could be useful. I will take that. I will take this. I will take that. Um, Do you want to take the filters, because that's components? I will take the filters. Uh, get not... rid of that one stack. Get rid of the one piece of wood, take the filters, take see if... I don't know if that's gonna... That's too much. Have you ever noticed if there is, much. like, a way to butter up the trader and kind of, like, get better value for your items? Uh, I've never actually had the resources where I thought I could try. Yeah? Yeah. Even now, I want to save this stuff, and I want to trade him as little as possible, so that way my people can be comfortable and safe for just a little while. Okay. Um, there's actually a really That's important fair. mechanic that I haven't shown yet. Some thoughts. The section on the right oh. it says, mm -hmm. fortunately, our shelter is a place where we can get some respite from war. We have only one chair. We have beds and we sleep in decent conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they'll have a place to rest. We've made a radio and we like listening to it. We have a few books. Huh. A good book helps forget the horrors of war. Staying here offers slight respite in these hard times. Three cigarettes consumed per day. One cup of coffee uh, consumed per day. All breaches in our walls have been boarded up. We should be able to repel minor attacks even if we're all caught sleeping. So it basically is sort of a, a summary, but also a, a good like indication of where you are. Exactly. Precisely. Huh. Um, it's a gauge of your own happiness. So when we had the hatchet, we could chop off, chop down that one chair that we have left, but then it's, we have no chairs. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make real cigarettes this time. Uh, they trade for a little more, mm -hmm. um, and I have the actual tobacco and the components uh, necessary to Correct. make them. Uh, what do uh, I want to make? You need to make food. I need to make a gun. We don't have enough to make gun. We already made the gun. All oh, right, yeah, we already have a gun, don't we? And I traded for more bullets. Correct. Uh, I will make double meals since they're the only ones that are efficient enough to bother making. Right. Don't ever make a single meal. Do we have Just a filter? We have the water going. Now we're doing food. Does anybody need to sleep right now? Uh, someone is. Okay. Um, is there anything else we want to build? Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, tough to say, degrees. Really. It's probably going to get cold soon. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, no, no. It's got to be the herbal garden. Is it the herbal? Oh, that's so much stuff. It's we do not need to make a stove. We're not making a. We're not making a heating stove. Um, in order to do the herbal garden, do we have enough? We have four spare food right now. We have the cans. We're only gonna have ten components after that, and so that's only gonna be enough for three filters, and we need a ton of water. We to have keep this two herbal filters right now. We have two filters right now. Okay. 
We are going to need a ton of water, I will give you that, but we have a lot of water backed up. We have the herbal garden. We still haven't visited the construction site or the, the basement of the shelled school, which is where there's That's a lot true. of water. Do we need to make a... Another bed? No. Saw blade? Uh, <laughs> keep school. bringing it up. We do. We do need to make two saw blades, actually, mm -hmm. which is what we'll use those weapon parts that I traded for. Beautiful. So make uh, two of those. I'll make two of those. Do we have enough to... We don't need a hatchet. I would like we a have knife. A crowbar. I don't really care about having a knife. You don't care about having a knife? Not really. You can make one hit kills with it. You can't do that with anything else. Oh, really? Um, only two characters can do it, and that's Roman and Erica. Roman because he's a soldier, Erica because yeah. she's a sneaky, sneaky. So piece. I bother make that because so, so we don't require, have either one of those. Does it require the stealth attack that you were talking about? It, no, knives are still useful melee weapons, and you can still leave them behind, and you can trade them. Mm. So they're worth more than just the weapon parts would be on their own, but I think it is probably better to save the weapon parts for when so. we get a broken assault rifle and want to repair that. So much. Uh, I'm going to run another thing of water before the day ends. Uh, the more, cool. see the 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 way components work is it's three components to make a filter, which then mm -hmm. creates four water. Mm -hmm. So by that logic, then three components equals four water, and then you can sort of do that calculation for almost any item in the game to the point that all of it comes down to how much components and time that it takes you to make something. Those that are the only sense. two metrics that actually matter. Everything else is, uh, you know, kind of replaceable. I, I think that simplicity is important, too, because you have mm -hmm. to come to such snap decisions. Yeah. Yep. Do you remember, this is this is going back a ways here, but uh, a while ago, Nathan and I tried designing, like, a zombie RPG oh, that abstracted, yeah. like, a resource system That's down weird. into components and water and things like that. I think I do remember that, yeah. It, th that system would have ended up looking very similar to the way they've handled this game Could if we build we'd an done herbal it garden right. Now? Uh, we could build an herbal garden now, yeah. Nice. Well, that's all we have for this episode. We'll so, uh, see you in the archives. Oh, yeah, we went way over on this one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Where does it... Let's grow it's some drugs. Wobble of a dum dum! <laughs> I'm tied to brick! I really like that show. It's a great show. I love it so much. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. I didn't see that show. You oh my god! How have you not? What? Dude, it's like science fiction adventure time. Alright guys, sorry we're not gonna be able to do this channel for a little bit because uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris be needs to watch Rick and, Rick and Morty. Morty.